matters a lot because look at what the at the bottom of the list here. Tryptophan by percentage is present in the smallest amount in all proteins in the body except for collagen. It's not even in collagen at all. All proteins in the body. So that means you're if you're just a little bit low in tryptophan, it's the weak link in protein synthesis. If you don't have that little bit, you just don't have much of it to give up, and boom, you've got a really major problem. So the main role of tryptophan, if you see low tryptophan on a lab, is not serotonin, it's protein synthesis, which then goes back to all these different body functions. So when you give someone tryptophan, because their tryptophan test is low on an amino acid lab, let me just show you one more time here. What's that going to impact? Okay, serotonin is the least of it. It's going to impact muscle wasting. It's going to strengthen their immune system. It's going to allow them to lead to cell repair and growth. It's going to bounce out their hormones because insulin, glucagon, and growth hormones are all proteins. It's going to help with the enzymes that catalyze everything in the mitochondria. It's going to help with the proteins that are neurotransmitters, right? If you're low in tryptophan and you can't synthesize protein, all of this gets trashed except for collagen. So now, when you see an amino acid test and you see low tryptophan, you should be thinking serotonin, and then you should think, no, I'm not supposed to think serotonin first. This is important to give, not because they need serotonin, because I want to improve protein synthesis, the biosynthesis, the production of protein. That's, I think, the most important concept.